I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SQL accounting software. So if you have queries regarding SQL accounting software, you want to do training, purchase or sign up maintenance, you can contact me. Please go to facebook.com slash technologies. Like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding my company and also SQL accounting system. You can also post your questions, queries over here and I'll answer accordingly. You can see my reaction with other customer or people and how, I'm, how I answer to their questions. We can learn together as a virtual class over here. Now it's already 1,900 plus. You may also go to youtube.com slash syntax technologies and browse for my previous SQL accounting or SQL panel tutorial. Every tutorial is come with a name so you can just click at the particular video that you like. In today's lesson, I'll continue with SQL payroll system. Process payroll. So there's three kind of process you may take. First is called final frequency and hop. Final is you doing one month payroll at a time. Meaning that you only process payroll once a month. So you can process which one you like and just click at the process button. Frequency is for you to do half month payroll. So if you pay twice a month every 15 you pay every 30 you pay so for the mid month payroll you need to go to frequency and process half month payroll same things just click the process button and at the month end you just go back to final click process for ad hoc this is for other things that from your basic payroll for example if you process allowance, OT claims or bonus, which is separate from your basic payroll, you need to do as ad hoc. For example, at open pending, you have an allowance. So this allowance is paid separate from your monthly payroll. So then you need to go to ad hoc. You click at this monthly fixed allowance or pending a payroll you click at the things you want to take for example allowance okay then you can process accordingly just click ok then just process and it will set up with your final payroll bonus processing be here you just click at your bonus okay so you can see that there's other things that you can take if you already maintain under open pending okay let's try out a monthly process click at final process I have a process okay so you have your money payroll, print page. So you just print accordingly. So you can select a template you want. So you can see that everything is counted automatically. Okay. So you can print for an A. For your information, current Malaysia regulation is both A must be filled up in the original form. You can't use any printout from any payroll system because there is a checking barcode over here from the original form which they will scan to input your data into KWSP system. So you must use the original form unless you didn't get the form so there's no way so you have to print the form from the system but anyway 
all the information already been printed for you. So you print all socks of form, Bura AA. This one you can print out and submit. And of course, I always mention there are two main reasons for a customer buy a payroll system. The first reason is because your CP39. So for this program, you can download from the Burger Hasil Dalam Navy website or get it from there. Then you fill up accordingly. But you must use the Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negeri website we call um, PCB calculator but if you have a payroll system everything will be put for you automatically so what you need to do is just print out and submit so if you want to print out the payment summary payment summary you can print accordingly so this is how easy to do your money payroll but remember one thing because PCB calculation is based on accumulate data for example you accumulate EPF and things like that so if you want to use a payroll system it is advisable even you purchase it during month of October you still need to process back from January on not only for PCB but also for your EA form. So the soonest you purchase a payroll system is the better because you do not need to chase back. And it's different from accounting system where you can start to this month first, then go back previous month. For payroll, you should start from January onwards to December. So that's why when you process payroll, you should process from January onwards and do accordingly. After you process the payroll, you can click open payroll and go back to that payroll that you have processed. Because if previously you are doing manual way, so a lot of calculation might not be same as system calculation. So what you need to do is you open back your money payroll for that month, double click at the button and you can change all this figure according to the actual that you have paid even PCB okay you can change accordingly then save it then we must make sure the system is the same as your previous payment this is very important okay this is how you access a money payroll is open back any payment that you have processed and do changes over there or refer back or print out all the form that requested by your employee another very important thing over here is you need to right click the month oh, no you should right click the year and there's a thing called PCB receipt so every month you take your PCB to the bugger they will Give the receipt and you just key back the receipt accordingly. So this part is PCB, this part is CP38. Okay, so this is how you do your payroll monthly. In tomorrow lesson, I'll continue with leave processing. That's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.